Hi guys, how are you? Uh, good afternoon. Right now, when I'm recording this, it is a uh, Friday afternoon. I am recording a video at the last minute. As you know, generally I post on Friday. Um, I have been neglecting everything for two weeks now because something unexpectedly come up. Um, I'm still in the process of recovering, trying to get all the stuff done so I can put myself back on a more regular routine track in terms of being creative and um, I feel I was heading pretty good direction uh, since 2020 and um, last week uh, I got a message from my landlord um, don't get me wrong they're very nice people but I got a um, message from them that they want us to move out uh, as soon as possible because uh, they are um, taking down, down the house and um, we have to move out so they can move into the house the main reason is that they have three goats, eight cats, seven or eight cats, and um, uh, I think they have three dogs and several guinea pigs, something like that. Um, they thought about go out to rent a place so we don't have to move, which was nice. But because of their situation, they saved too many animals. They can't really rent anywhere else. So for the past couple weeks, we have been dealing with this situation back and forth. Um, I have so many things planned out for the next two months of 2021. And then now all of a sudden, um, because of this interruption, I felt immediately since I have been burned out. And I think this situation disrupted me not only for a schedule, financial reason, but as well as emotional reasons. All of a sudden, I couldn't get myself to really work on anything, um, but keep looking for houses and um, dealing with the financial problem and all that stuff. Now, I think we find a house. Um, we haven't signed a leasing yet, but... <sighs> It's been a very stressful two weeks and I can't wait to get the lease agreement signed, pay the deposit and get the key. Speak of that, it's kind of a very um, emotional situation in terms of this room, this study room, because here is where I started uh, this YouTube channel and I filmed and shared so many things with you only in this room most of the time. Um, so I think if you ask me what's the thing I miss the most of this house, probably there are two things. One is this room, another is the tray in front of the house. The new place we rented doesn't have big trays. Um, I don't know if you can recall, I wrote an um, essay about trays and my gratitude towards the tray under the house. In March 2020, uh, two days before the incident, and um, since I wrote that essay, everything start. I can't even call it essay. I don't know what you call that in English, but it was posting on Instagram. And since then, everything went downhill, and um, I'm very proud of myself was be able to pick back up at one point and um, heading a very good direction and now we have to move out of this house. Part of me feel that universe is trying to say something. By the way, speak of that, my bracelets, I don't know if you've seen in my previous video, I have been wearing it since my 16 and I also wrote another essay about this bracelets on my Instagram in I believe also 2020. I also showed a gratitude about the bracelets as well and then uh, a week ago 
at my day job, I was just slightly uh, slammed my wrist on the counter and uh, it was completely broke. Let me show you. I saved. I saved all the pieces, but now this is all. All I have in here. Um, I'm planning on glue it back, but just for memory purpose, um, I don't see I don't see this situation as anything negative. I almost feel like it's something good that's happening. It's like a breakthrough or some change that's supposed to be happen. That a bracelet were for 15 years and knocked for thousands of times, and then all of a sudden just broke for some reason. And then as soon as that happened, I was told that I have to leave a house that I have a lot of gratitude towards too. Um, it's quite interesting uh, this couple weeks. Anyway, um, I hope I can still have a space for me to create when we get to a new place. There are good things happened. Uh, my friend Holly, uh, she is a filmmaker and she had a couple of feature documentaries, one called uh, Church and the State was released. You can watch it online. Um, it's a very emotional documentary uh, about same-sex marriage. And an another one is a documentary about female firefighter, I believe I mentioned it on this channel before, called um, Anchor Point. And um, anyway, Holly came all the way to from Utah to uh, LA. She was going to Newport Beach Film Festival and then she came to LA stay for a couple of days. So Holly and I went to Academy Museum together. I was planning on go to Academy Museum at one point, but I wasn't expecting it was a place full of inspiration. Um, I thought it would be a place that display all kinds of uh, historical things and uh, educate you about film history, the growth of the whole industry, but I... <sighs> I got so emotional many many times during the whole four and a half hours we spent in there. Uh, we went there in the afternoon and I didn't know it closed at six o'clock and uh, we actually only went through half of the place. Um, luckily we, we went from upstairs like backwards so usually people go from uh, underground to the top but we went backwards and then we see, I hope it was the most exciting stuff. He talked about different departments for filmmakings and then the, how they evolve. And uh, there are a lot of elements talking about the process of different artists making things and then how they struggled and how they have their breakthrough. I definitely want to go back to there. Um, I actually took a picture of this because I really want to share with you it was quite inspirational so Pete Doctor uh, which is one of my favorite filmmakers uh, he is um, the director at the Pixar uh, if you watch the Pixar film Up and um, Inside Out and the latest one, which is my favorite animation now, uh, The Soul. It's all from Pete Doctor, of course, and his team. This is a letter uh, which was hanging on the wall of, um, I don't remember which floor. I had to take a picture, which is allowed, because uh, I really want to show you about it. So Peter Doctor, before he go to animation school, he mailed Frank Thomas, which is the animator at Disney, and um, he was emailing him asking for inspiration, and then Frank Thomas uh, replied this, which shows us that everybody wants nobody, everybody continuously practice and um, everyone struggles and um, have their obstacles and setbacks and maybe still struggling and this is how the letter goes 
Dear Peter Doctor, February twenty second, nineteen eighty seven. Thanks for your nice letter. We tried hard to make our book interesting and informative, and it's always good to hear from someone considering animation as a profession. I certainly wish you luck. The courses you are taking sound like the right ones to me. As long as you augment them with some personal drawings that communicate with your peers, any drawings you do for classmates is very helpful in the long run. When I was in college, I drew for our funny magazine, but missed on about half of my gags. The other students either couldn't tell what was funny about my drawing, or simply didn't react to that type of humor. That reaction plunged my whole life, but I did gradually learn a few things to do and what not to do. The character animation department at Cal Arts is certainly the best place to get the right kind of training. Working in the industry has been spotty in the last few years, causing the skilled animators to jump from one studio to another, depending on who has the contract for the picture. The new management at Disney has made many strange decisions, but at least they are trying new ideas and looking for an expanded market. I hope they get it stranded out. Throughout animation industry, before you start seeking employment, it's a wonderful field, but it does take a few breaks here and there. I guess much of life does. Come to think of it, regards, Frank Thomas. <sighs> so, this letter shows all. The letter showed us that、um, Peter Doctor was once a student who. Is still confused and looking for a way to break through, and not sure what to do, or not sure if the course he's taking is the right course. And、um, also, he has enough courage to seek out、uh, the people who has much more experience, who works in the field, to just email to ask questions, ask for. Someone to point a direction for him, and the things Frank shared also showed how he works and then practice based on what he learned in the college, and、uh, how he utilized the things that he learned, and then how、um, some of his work made him feel self doubt, and he had a process of from. Not be able to communicate with his audience to learn here and there a few things, as what he put, and he also shows the struggle of people who actually work in the industry,、uh, from the animators to the management, and also show his love and passion towards the industry, the field that he was in, and、uh, he also said that. There will be setbacks, and、um, it's just like life. We always have setbacks. Just one small letter contains so many inspirational information.、Um, that's one of the thing I really want to share with you. I want to share another thing with you that I, I found online.、Uh, that's from Martin Scorsese's masterclass, I believe, and、uh, it's a quote. And I think it applies to my current situation, but I want to share with you first.、Um, he says, "Remind yourself, this is where so many people, including me, start to stray from the path. You have to realize that even when you feel depressed, even when you feel anxious, when you feel like giving up, you have to keep going. You have to emotionally discipline yourself." And you do this by reminding yourself of these values every single fucking day.、Um, you're not special. Life is unfair, and then your dream don't care about how you feel. The ability to get things done, even when you feel emotionally down, is what will set you apart. And the more you push, the easier it gets. So this is something that kind of wakes me up、uh, when I saw it yesterday,、um, because 
I do feel that way that I can get away more things done than three years ago. I think it's mostly because of that there were time I pushed myself, so I kind of have a higher limit of how much I can handle emotionally, and also because of I have been uh, burned out, and I'm not aware of how much of burned out I was. And as soon as there is an outside factor, like I have to move out to the house, I have a financial crisis. Um, immediately, it sets me back to a point that I want to give up on everything. I put everything down. It's nothing wrong to put things down to taking care of myself if I feel emotionally extremely drained. But the reason I would get to a point that emotionally couldn't handle that much is because I haven't built enough habit. I think a space to taking care of myself、um, daily and have a habit, a routine of working on my stuff. It's almost like if I can balance work and taking care of myself and build that to, into a habit. Even when things difficult that's happening, it will be much easier for me to handle than something happen when I'm completely burned out. Of course, I don't have more emotional capacity to taking care of whatever is happening.、Uh, I hope that makes sense. So I'm start thinking about how can I find the balance even more.、Uh, sometimes I would. Trying to push through for several weeks and then kind of stop for a week in order to kind of get myself back a little bit, but I think that's maybe not a very good strategy. Maybe I should start、um, work schedule pursue at the same time taking care of myself daily and then to have a space and a habit of mentally have a room. To breathe when crisis hits, I hope that makes sense. Yeah. So these are the things I want to update with you. It's been very interesting two weeks. I will update you on the house situation. Hopefully, I can share you what my new place looks like. I'm grateful you listened to me for this far. And、um, Poopy is still very snuggly this whole time. Anyway.、Um, I hope you be patient, be present, stay creative. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.